Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best guide to completing the Union Depository contract as a solo player in GTA 5 Online. After you master this guide that I'm going to be showing you, I promise you will be finishing the contract in under 20 minutes every single time. That being said, if you're going to enjoy today's video, don't forget to go down below and drop a like on it. But now, let's go. Getting things started, of course, what you first need to do is enter inside your auto shop and then walk upstairs to your contract board. Now, if you see the Union Depository contract, of course, go ahead and walk up to your contract board and simply start up this contract. On the other hand, if you do not see it, all you need to do is simply walk up to your contract board and simply start up any one of these contracts that you see. Once you start it, now back out and now walk out of your auto shop. Once you fully walked out of your auto shop, now what you need to do is open up your phone, go to your contact list, and then call Sasanta. Once Sasanta picks up, you now want to click the option where it says cancel contract job and then accept the alert. Once you accept the alert, all you need to do from there is go back inside your auto shop, walk upstairs, and then take a look at your contract board. As you can see, all of the contracts should have changed and hopefully now you see the Union Depository contract, but if you don't see it, you can simply do this trick again until you do see the Union Depository contract, and this is how you get the Union Depository contract every single time. The very first setup that you need to do for this contract is called the elevator key, and all you have to do is go over to a random apartment and simply enter inside. Once you are inside, you need to take out a whole bunch of the hired gunmen inside of here. I recommend using some sort of really strong AR, and make sure you get all headshots because as you all know, a headshot is an instant kill. Once you get to this room here, I recommend throwing two grenades inside that way the grenades just take care of the corrupt businessman that way once you walk inside the room he's already taken out that way you can simply go up to his body click right d-pad and just like that you now have the elevator key once you have the elevator key now head down to the garage once inside the garage just like before we have to take out a whole bunch of more hired gunmen make sure you get all headshots that way you instantly kill them all really really quickly and once you do take them all out now what you need to do is locate the security vehicle get inside of it and drive it out once you are outside of the apartment garage now what you need to do is park this vehicle vehicle at any one of the three mark locations. It doesn't even matter which location you park it at because we are not even going to be using this during the finale. But anyway, once you do park it, now get inside of your vehicle and now leave the area. And as you can see, here's how much money you get for doing this setup, $10,000. Okay, so getting into the second setup, this one is called the vault code. And what you first need to do is head over to LSIA. Once you are over there, what you need to do is take out these two cops that are going to be defending this police maverick helicopter. And once you take them out, now hop inside the police maverick helicopter and start heading over to the maze bank tower make sure while you are flying over there you are really high in the air that way you lose the cops before you even get there as you can see exactly when i arrived at the location i basically lost the cops because i was really high in the air anyway once you get to the location what you then need to do is click right d-pad to open up your police scanner and you now want to look through the parking lot for a blue porsche car and it's literally always going to be this exact car. If you don't know what car it is in GTA 5 Online, it's called the Fister Growler. Anyway, once you do scan the vehicle, now what you need to do is slowly tail behind the vehicle, following it over to a random hotel, but make sure you're not too close behind it because of course you don't want to be detected. Once you arrive at the hotel, now what you need to do is look for the bank manager and once you find him, open up your police scanner and snap a picture of him once he's hugging the lady next to him. Once he's hugging the lady, once again, like I said, take a picture and as soon as you take that picture, all you then need to do is wait for Sasanta to contact you. And after she does contact you, she then will tell you to leave the area. And after you do leave the area, here's exactly how much money you get paid for this second setup. Once again, $10,000. And now we are ready to do the finale for the Union Depository contract. Okay, so now it is time to do the finale for this contract, which is called the robbery. And the weapon loadout that I'm going to be using during this contract is called the Hustler, in case anyone is wondering. Okay, so right now I'm going to be going over every single thing that you need to do for the finale, step by step, showing you the fastest way to complete it and the first thing that you need to do is head over to where you parked your getaway vehicle at. From here once you arrive now what you need to do is enter inside of your getaway vehicle and now drive it across the street to the Union Depository. Once you arrive over there all you need to do now is hop out of your vehicle and now go over to the elevator but make sure you show this security guard your ID pass first and now he'll let you go by. Once you go by now enter the elevator and click right d-pad to go down the elevator. Once you are down the elevator now go over to the vault which is literally right in front of you and now you'll be put through a really cool cutscene of you entering inside the vault. Once inside the vault, now go over to the first pile of gold bars and pick up the entire pile. Once you pick up the entire pile, now go over across from here where the next pile is and pick up just the rest of this pile. Now your bag capacity should be completely full, so from here, go over to the elevator and now you'll be put through another cutscene. Once you are out the cutscene, now what you need to do is escape the Union Depository. And to escape, it's pretty simple. All you want 
to do is take out all of the police inside this parking garage, but make sure you only go after the police on the left side of the parking garage. Once you take out all of the policemen, now come over here to the left exit of the garage and take out these two last policemen. Now get inside of their police car and quickly open up your interaction menu and hover over your snacks and spam them if you need to because what we need to do now is drive through this entire parking garage onto the other side of the street right here. Once you are on this street here, what you then need to do is head over to the police station directly across the street from the casino. Once you do arrive at the police station, now go on top of the building and take the exact way that I'm going here on top of these two ledges and now go over here to these air vents and climb up the air vents exactly as I did here and once you are on the very top, you now should see the police helicopter right here. So now simply get inside of it. And now once you are inside the helicopter, wait for it to fully start up and just like that, we now have a helicopter to head over to our client because as you know, the client is usually really far away, like literally across the entire map of Los Santos. And plus, using this helicopter is not only going to get us there in under a couple minutes, it's also going to help us lose the cops instantly while heading over there. Because as you all know, heading over there with a regular vehicle or any single sort of car is definitely hard because you have to worry about losing the cops and also dodging them. On the other hand, a helicopter is definitely way better because as long as you are super high in the air, no police will ever spot you and you will instantly lose the cops really fast. After a couple minutes though, you should have now made it over to the client and once you make it over to the client, all you need to do is go over to the yellow circle and just like that, we are now done doing this contract and here is exactly how much money you are going to be getting paid. As you can see, contract passed, a total of $540,000 and also 3,000 RP. Which if you ask me is definitely very very good because in total doing the two setups and also the finale took me under 20 minutes and as long as you follow this exact guide that I showed you in today's video you should be able to complete this easily in under 20 minutes as well. Because the first two setups the elevator key and the vault code are really easy they literally take like under 4 minutes a piece. And the finale, even if you were having a hard time before, with this exact way that I showed you in today's video, you should have no problem and you should be able to complete the finale in under 10 minutes. It is really important to know though that even if you do get the Union Depository contract again, there is going to be a cooldown and this cooldown is definitely not short. It is an hour long cooldown. So you have to wait an hour before you can repeat this exact same contract once again. But it is only going to be the contract that we just completed with a cooldown timer on it. We can easily complete any one of these other auto shop contracts that we see available right now. But if you don't want to do any one of the other contracts except the one that I showed you in today's video, I recommend you go complete a KO Perico Heist and after you complete that KO Perico Heist, the cooldown timer should be completely gone. Or you could simply just turn off your GTA 5 online, come back one hour later and boom your cooldown timer is now gone like that as well. Also, in case anybody watching did not know, you can actually make $675,000 from the same exact Union Depository contract, but the only way to do this is by having a total of three other friends in this contract while you do it. And the reason doing it with over three friends pays you over $100,000 extra compared to doing it solo is simply because with three friends in the contract, you can actually hold more gold bars. And of course, having those more people pick up the gold bars is going to be the result of the payout at the very end. That is why you get $675,000 by doing it with three friends. And I know getting three friends might be a little bit difficult, but don't worry. What I want everybody to do watching this video right now is go down below in the comment section and comment down below what console you play on and also your gamer tag and respond to each other's comments down below in the comment section to link up with each other. Anyway, that is now going to be the end of today's video. Now you know the fastest way to complete the Union Deposit contract in GTA 5 online completing both of these setups and also the finale. If you went on to enjoy today's video and you still haven't already please do me a favor and drop a like on the video and of course make sure you are subscribed to my youtube channel if you aren't already with notifications turned on that way you never missed out on a future GTA 5 online video just like this one. But yeah that's it for me and until next time I will see you all in my very next video. Peace.